guys, this is DKC2. We're back. So yeah, this is going to be a 102% playthrough of a uh, of DKC2. Gangplank Galleon, Pirate Panic. <laughs> Gotta remember now where everything is. I've kidnapped that lumbering fool Donkey Kong, and you will never see him again. Ah ha ha ha, Captain Carol. Kero. Crew. Captain Crew. <laughs> change the no no this is uh, on the Wii uh, Marzi uh, yeah I should change the title of the stream by the way uh, I forgot to do so in between both but that's okay though that, that's not a big issue <laughs> Yeah, because if this was on SNES hardware, because I don't have a, a frame meister or an OSSC or that sort of thing for uh, to, to, to get the good picture quality out of the SNES, it wouldn't look nearly as good. I'm more than hyped. <laughs> I'm expecting lots of good news for the Switch. Since this is the only current gen platform that I own and that I intend on owning because I like to build one good library and not spread myself thin across multiple platforms. And Nintendo's platforms are uh, where my favorite games usually are, so... Uh, Oh yeah, DK coins. I have to look out for those. It was hard to tell because the picture quality looks better than SNES hardware, but then it, I didn't think it would be emulated on a PC either. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, I got everything in that first stage. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, knew there was something there. Hyped for a three week. Yeah, I went ahead today and bought the candy I'm going to eat while watching it. <laughs> So uh, I'm prepared. I'm set already. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if you can kill these guys. Ah, oh, yeah, like this. Okay. Uh, I'm heading backwards here, I think. 
E3 going to be good. Oh yeah, I'm I'm expecting it to be good. Well, shit, I went backwards again. It doesn't help that I've been reading up on rumors for the Nintendo Switch and like le allegedly leaked E3 information. So, uh, well, I might end up being very disappointed when everything turns out to be false. That's the problem when you spoil yourself like this. With, with potentially fake announcements. <laughs> fake leaks is what I should be saying. Because it's what I've been saying last night. I'm hoping that they would announce a line of Nintendo Classic titles for the Switch. That would be the successor to the Virtual Console line. But, uh... It's Nintendo, so uh, I'm ready to be disappointed. Fortnite baby coming to the Switch. Well, it's uh, it seems to be leaked pretty good now. I think that one. That one seems pretty legit. Yeah, it looks like it is coming to the Switch. I'm not big on. Like I was saying recently, I don't know if it was yesterday or uh, a longer time ago, but I'm not big on the uh, battle royale style of games like Fortnite. So. I mean, it's good. It's good for the Switch because it's a very pop popular game. And it will be good for, for kids to be able to play this on a proper system that they can play on the go. Because it's a, it's a game that's pretty popular with it, with, with them. Uh, among other things, uh, that the new Fire Emblem game would be sh for first shown to the public. Well, amongst the things that were rumored... Uh, there was the reveal of the new Pokemon as being uh, like a remake of the first generation of games, which it, ca which the recently announced Pokemon game kind of is. So that gives some, how should I say, weight to the rumor of that like big leak being true. Uh, like also, what else? Uh, yeah, Nintendo announcing the line of Nintendo Classics games that would be way cheaper than what we had on the Virtual Console before. Uh, what else? Th things, things like that. I can't remember everything off the top of my head, unfortunately. Okay. Gangplank Galley. But one thing about among these rumors, like the, the alleged title for the next Fire Emblem doesn't sound like what, something that they would call a Fire Emblem game. So that kind of makes me think that part of it is, must not be true. Yeah, and also, yeah, there has been that rumor going on, but that's not, that wasn't in the same leak that uh, they would announce the new Star Fox game as being Star Fox Grand Prix, being a racing game. Well, c kind of, still, still kind of in the same style with, with racing elements to it. Or like a racing game with shooting elements to it. Uh, I don't know, it's hard to tell. I don't know if I want to believe that one, though. Simply because, uh, well... The Star Fox game that I've been wanting for so long uh, is a more classic Star Fox affair rather than just constantly trying to make things w w with the Star Fox series uh, that are tr trying to make it original when it doesn't necessarily need to be to uh, to be enjoyable. But that's that's only me though.
Oh yeah, well, uh, also amongst the rumors was the announcement of uh, a Call of Duty sort of a uh, only multiplayer only kind of version of the next game or something like that. Well, that I could believe, I guess. Sort of. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, you have to pay for saves in that game. Well, uh, in certain circumstances. Wink Kong. Ah, that's that level is one of my favorite pieces of music in this game. Those drums. Yeah, yeah, if, uh, amongst the rumors, but then again, yeah, it's just a rumor, okay? <laughs> like, don't burn me at the stake if, uh, <laughs> if it turns out to not be true. Yeah, but multiplayer only, apparently. Place is like a maze. Ah, there it is. That would be good if true. Well, once again, this is not the type of game that I like to play. So, uh, yeah, it's good for the for for the platform and for uh, the audience, obviously. More games to play, more popular games for the Switch. That's always good, but that's simply not for me. But hey, I don't want only games for the platform that would be good for me, because uh, if the platform has uh, lots of games that are really popular and make make the system sell the units, it's good for other games that I like having chances of coming to the system as well. So I see it both ways. <laughs> cool stuff, but getting classics would be awesome. Well, that's one thing I'm hoping, yeah. Uh, and hopefully this is me wishfully thinking, I know, but I'm hoping too that they would make it so that people who have purchased these same games already on the on the Wii and Wii U Virtual Console already don't have to pay full price to get them again. I'm, I wouldn't say getting them for free because that's Nintendo. That would never happen, I think. They would still want to get like a, a bit of money out of those e e even so. But uh... But yeah, at least getting a discount on them, if we already own them on Wii U Virtual Console. Because I own quite a few Virtual Console games already, I think anywhere between 60 or 70. So, uh, <laughs> that would be a good return on investment if I would be to, uh, to not have to pay full price for those again. But apparently, if the rumor is true, well, and they announce it, it, they would announce them as being way cheaper than they were before, so... Who knows? Who knows? I'm ready to be disappointed and to not get what I'm wishing for. <laughs> There's so many things that Nintendo... Always kind of hints at that they are doing it, and then they're not doing it. Oh yeah, amongst the rumors now, another thing that I remember reading is that they would announce, finally, that you would not need uh, the Nintendo's app for uh, voice chat on the system, but that they would not be handling it themselves. They would allow you to, like, sync up your... Uh, your sw your Nintendo account to your Discord account or something like that, and then you could select which service you want to use to play to to chat with your friends. S something along those lines, but that doesn't sound very likely. That's not very Nintendo-like to do. You you never know with the new management in place. Maybe they are not shit. Maybe they're not as a uh, how should I say protective as a uh, as Nintendo used to be under. Uh, under Iwata and the sort of that sort of thing. 
But uh, that doesn't sound very Nintendo-like, like I said. So uh, yeah, I don't I don't know if I should believe that too much. Discord have said that they were they, they would get in contact with Nintendo to uh, offer them to 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 take care of it so that it would be done right because they love the Switch. The guys at uh, over at Discord. So uh, maybe that they they managed to work out something. Some kind of arrangement. But I mean, if that was to be true, like you would, if let's say you could use uh, either Discord or Skype or uh, whichever kind of a uh, like online call system that you that that, that you want, uh, that that would be a, a very bold move, I should say. I know you can use Discord on Xbox. I yeah, I think you can on Xbox One actually. Or if we could get some cool online service spotlight or something. Yeah. Yeah, but then again, like I said, it's Nintendo, so... Well, I'm cautiously optimistic because they've been showing, like, more progressive kind of ideas of late. In more recent years, ever since the, the, the Switch has, was released, to be, on, to, to be honest. But, uh... It's still Nintendo. And their online is still not up to scratch, so... I don't dare believe that it's going to be... that the situation is going to fix itself so, so soon. Yeah. Oh, I didn't find all the bonus levels in there. I have to go back. It's usually two. It's usually two bonus levels. It's not as crazy as being, like, from none to, uh, like, five different bonus levels, li like in the first DKC in this one. But they're usually pretty well hidden, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think I found that one. No, that's another one. Okay. Twenty five lives already. Okay, first boss. Will I be getting Luigi's Mansion Remake on 3DS? No, I won't. Part of it is that, well, from what I've seen of the, um, like, of the footage of the game, it looks worse than the GameCube version, that's one thing. And, well, also because it's on the 3DS and I've... <laughs> I like the 3DS alright, but it's hard to go back to after you've been spoiled with a nice, big, beautiful screen like that of the Switch. So I'm done with the 3DS, pretty much. But I'm sure there will be some exclusive content that I will regret not being able to experience. But if one of my friends buys it, I may borrow it, borrow it off of him, just so I can sort of, sort of play, play a little bit through it and experience the new content if there is any. Because it, it's pretty much a given that there is going to be new stuff in there. They are not going to be just releasing the old game as is. That's what usually Nintendo does, so... <laughs> oh, the head elements are still... ...hidden behind the... ...the scenery. Ah, oh, yeah, but you have to keep paying for, uh, for, for these services. Ah, oh, yeah, you have to pay two coins. Oh, another one of my favorite pieces of music. Oh, 
let's head back. It's weird how there is no echo to the sound effects within the bonus level. Re-reverb, not echo, reverb is what I should be saying. Ah, what's the name of that of, of that animal buddy again? Uh, sk sk no, squitter? No. Shit, I can't remember now. something up there. Yeah, it's easy enough because this is early on in the game, but later on it gets a lot nastier. The game is sensible enough that once you start making three webs, it doesn't take away the web that you're standing on, even if it's not like the earliest that you've been uh, that, that you've been throwing. Problem is, uh, I'm gonna lose them once I uh, once I turn off the game. So, well, I could make a quick save only to 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 keep those coins between two streams. I think I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, and also the lives, the lives that I made. I want to lose these. Oh yeah, there's a secret. A shortcut to the end of the stage, I think, right underneath the platform here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that game introduced the notion of like quick shortcuts in the early stages of the game. Like you just step into a hidden barrel and you are thrown all the way to the end of the stage straight away. Which I guess is being used for speedruns, but I haven't never watched a speedrun of any Donkey Kong Country game, so. On any percent, I guess. Ah, uh, but I need... I think I need her. Oh, but there's a barrel somewhere around here, I guess. Ah! Watch out for that guy. Where's that DK barrel? Ah, oh, here, okay. Okay, let's see if I can remember this. Isn't it... No? I thought there was something over there. Okay, well, I I was mistaken then. All right, I admit that I was wrong. Nice. 
Nah, there's nothing over there, okay. Had to check. Oh, wait a minute. Is it here? Yeah, this is it. That's it. And you're all the way at the end of the stage straight away. Yeah, okay. But I'm still going to be playing the stage like normal though. Because I want the bonus levels. Oh, I just wanted to show it. To, to show it off that I still remember some of these. There is one in, I think, every stage in the first two worlds. But I could be wrong. I still sort of know my DKC. The things that you used to read in magazines back in the day. <laughs> I might still have one actually somewhere around here where they are all listed. I should look for it. Ow. Ah, shit. Yeah, especially since there's a DK barrel there, I want I want that. I might be missing something if I move move ahead too quick. Nah, there doesn't seem to be anything there. Okay. But I had to check though. Nah, I was hoping to get that zinger. Their design has somewhat changed between the both games, I think. It's a bit more refined here, I, f I feel. Uh, well, there is one. So that's two that I found. I still need the DK coin though. Some of the stuff in that in those stages is so well hidden. Ah, no. <laughs> uh. Where's that DK coin? But there's something over there though. Hold on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I, I saw a bonus level up there. Okay. <laughs> well, at least I think that's all of them. I think three is the maximum that there can be. But I, that, I still need that DK coin, though. I think it must be somewhere near the end of the stage. Like right underneath the exit or something along those lines. Yeah, but I needed that enemy to uh, step on this on the thing. No. Ah. no. 
Ah! I fell I'll fight back down so far away. What's the name of that stage? Cannons Lame. DK coin. Where where is it? Where 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 is it? Oh, okay. Oh, that's sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. I need to go all the way back to the beginning. Oh, oh well, I need, I need Dixie anyway. The DK coin was inside that first bonus stage. How sneaky can you be? And there you go. <laughs> Obviously when you know where to look. Oh yeah, that stage I remember. I'm forgetting something. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. What am I supposed to do with this? What's that supposed to accomplish? I feel like I'm missing the point here. something up there ah no but oh uh, yeah okay this is where you're supposed to be coming from and hold on there's something here yeah that looks suspicious I ran into it like normal. Okay, let's go back then. Now, this is weird. At least I can try again as many times as I want. Yeah, in DKC2, fuck's sake. In DKC2, this is different. You have to c to clear these bonus levels if you want if you want them to count towards the, the overall percentage.
Uh, if you look at the background, like all the different like floors that you pass in front of, it looks kind of like it's made of three in 3D. It's very impressive. But it's not actually, it's it's not 3D, obviously, obviously it's not 3D. Like the 3DS could handle this while displaying these gorgeous 2D graphics in front of it. But it does the trick. It tricks you into thinking that it is. Have you streamed DK64 yet? No, I haven't. I'm not sure this is one that I would want to do. This is not by far not my favorite platform game. It's infamous for having pretty much killed the collectathon genre and for good reason. I did complete it 101% like at least twice on the N64 itself and then on the Wii U Virtual Console, but yeah, it's a, it's a game where you wander around a lot looking for stuff that you haven't collected yet. It's not my favorite. No, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Well, okay, it's still the DK coin that I'm still missing. Uh. No, I did Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie, but I didn't do uh, Donkey Kong Country, no. Um, Donkey DK64, sorry. The thin alcove to the right of the animal buddy. Towards the end of the level, and then head downwards through some crates to reach a hidden area. Here they can find the in an invincibility barrel and a DK barrel, followed by a trail of bananas that lead up to a DK coin. Ah, yeah, I sort of remember that. Yeah, that rings a bell. some slow downs at points. I can't remember if that was in the original game or not. Admittedly that there is a lot of sprites, quite detailed sprites that, that this nest may have some problems handling. Wait, wait, wait a minute. In Donkey Kong Land 2, it was hard to tell that this was lava. Well, I mean... It, they, they hinted that it transformed into lava, but since it was black and white, it was hard to tell anyway. But here, I guess it's just supposed to be... Hot, boiling hot water, I guess. Ah, yeah, yeah, there it was, okay. Mm. Okay, well, there we go. I think it's 40 TK coins that you must have by the end of the game. If I remember correctly. No, no secret hidden here. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember these. Lots of fun. Another rare, rare, rare game that I was thinking of streaming recently is Jet Force Gemini, though. Would be interesting to see if I can beat Mizar on, on stream, because uh, <laughs> this is a boss that I think I only ever managed to beat twice. The, the, the final boss in that game is one of the hardest I've ever encountered. 
Especially if you didn't prepare right, like I did the first time I ever tried to play it, to, to play the game. Come to think of it, I think I never beat it on my own cartridge. On one that, my, that one of my friends lent me, I did, but on my own, I think I never managed to beat that boss. That would be interesting. And it's a great game to boot, so that helps. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks suspicious. Yeah. Knew it. Yeah, I did both Banjo Tooie uh, and Banjo Kazooie. I did Conquer, so uh, yeah, why not Jet Force Gemini? Ah, there's something down there. Okay. That platform despawned. <sighs> How unfair. I should have just went through the barrel and not, not care for anything else. Not try to throw it. Just hold it as a shield of some sort. too close. If that barrel killed both at the same time, that would not have been a problem. Still don't have the DK the DK coin. Red hot ride. Where is the DK coin? Where is the DK coin? Where where is the DK coin? After leaving the stone platform with the star barrel on it, the Kongs must travel across some of the pit of lava until they eventually see two zingers lined up with a hot hair balloon that is located between them. A DK coin is located above one of these zingers and it can be reached with a jump 
or with the Kong's team up move, okay? Why not? Hey, O's, Foxy Fury Furry, welcome to the stream. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? We need that DK coin. Okay, so it's right after the star barrel. And that's where I'm supposed to be looking. So that must not be the two zingers I must look for. Uh. I think there must not be anything left of the balloon normally if it went in the lava like this for real. Welcome and I do hope you can beat this game as I think I nearly have gotten to the end and just haven't beaten the game yet not nor 102 percent yet well that's what I'm looking uh, that's what I'm going for I'm going for the 102 percent I've just finished Donkey Kong Country the first one like uh, how I like yeah 50 minutes ago <laughs> and so I went straight into that one yeah I think it must be that one. Ah, yeah, there it was. Okay. Okay, well, I, I got the coin. That's that's all I wanted. Squawks shaft. Ah, excellent. I love squawks. Wait, I think this is where another one of those shortcuts has to be, isn't it? No, I ah, know. Okay, I thought there was another one of those shortcuts here. Or I, I think I must have it, some of them confused with the Donkey Kong Land game on the Game Boy because I played nearly as much the Game Boy game as I have the as I have the SNES game. Nah, there's nothing there now. Well, I sacrificed two lives just to uh, to make sure, but. Is there anything over there to the right? I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, you can't lower the camera to see you, obviously. Hmm. I might miss something if I just progress too quickly. Ah, well, there must be something over there. Ah, yeah, okay, there is one. I've already completed this game 102%, like at least twice in the past. I know I did on the Wii Virtual, the Wii U Virtual Console, sorry, and uh, on the actual hardware, uh, or may maybe even th three times, I think. At least twice on the actual hardware and uh, and once on the Wii U Virtual Console. So, uh, but it's just a matter of me remembering where things are located. It's not that hard. Ah, 
I thought it was going to be something more important. Pretty blasé about all these uh, banana coins and stuff that I can find. Yeah, it's sort of secret in, in a way, but uh, it doesn't count towards a percentage, so uh, it's not the same as finding a, hi a hidden bonus level or... Uh, or a DK coin or anything of the like of that sort. Okay, well I uh, sacrifice this. Uh, I just have some troubles in that one secret level with the barrels and spikes. Yeesh. Yeah, the bramble, br bramble blast or something. Yes, yeah, so or something along those lines. Well, anyway, any of those uh, levels within the brambles are uh, pr pr pretty, pretty hard. Yeah, pr pr pretty challenging. I, I won't argue with you. Yeah, there. But you get to hear the stick sticker brush symphony music, which is uh, arguably the best mu Donkey Kong Country music ever composed. So uh, there are some perks, at least. No, not Bramble, the secret level one. Ah, in the Lost World, then yeah, the, the those that you have to. To, to pay crime coins to access, yeah, okay, yeah, I, I, yeah, I think I see what you mean then. Okay, I think that might be already all the bonus levels, but... What about that DK coin? Well, I think I know where it is. Off the top of my head, I think I can still remember where it was. It's kind of off-screen at some point. Like, you have to kill an enemy and squeeze through, and then the, the camera pans to the right when it's not supposed to do so, or something like that. Ah, oh, fucking fly! Leave me alone! Like over there to the right, maybe? No? Not here? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Yeah, I think this is it. No? Yeah, there it is. Oh, and there's another bonus stage. Okay, well, I still remember that one. <laughs> It's been how many years since they came out on the Wii U Virtual Console? Two, two years maybe? Three years at most? So that's how long since the since the last time I played this one. Since I bought all three on the Wii U Virtual Console. Part of me hoping that I would be able to transfer them to the Switch, admittedly, but... Because I kind of want them portably. With a good Joy-Con with a D-pad on it, that would be pretty sweet to have on the go. I know they're on the new 3DS, but I don't have a new 3DS, so... I only have a regular 3DS, not the new iteration. That's not over. Don't be fooled. Ah. 
I think I can still get it. It's much easier with a Dixie during that phase. Okay, there we go. Oh, I should have saved. Stupid me. Well, I'll use a quick save if I have to to mark a pause between both tri both tri streams. What time is it? Yeah. After I've played a couple more level stages, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait! No, no, no! I have to follow that guy. Then don't, don't I? Wait, wait! Right? What? 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 Where is it? I think you have to follow that guy, but he's gone now. <laughs> I think there is one that throws you a, a bonus barrel or something like that, but I can't remember now. Well, I'll sacrifice a life if I have to. Or I may, I may have that confused with a different stage. Okay, that one only gives you bananas, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that one disappeared. <laughs> it dived back down un under the goop. I don't know. <laughs> Water. Whatever you want to call that. Yeah, if it's just bananas, then I'm not really interested. <laughs> yeah, that one is just going to keep throwing these crates, I think. Music too. Oh wait, or uh, do you get it further on? I get. Oh yeah, no, maybe you get it by passing this thing. Yeah. Oh no, you get the DK coin that way. Or it's that guy that gives you the. Cannonball, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that was it. Oh. Oh, that doesn't bode well. <laughs> I failed miserably. That was a that was a poor show of skills. Or do I get to try again? Can I? Yeah, it's gonna be a bit more complicated with Diddy, I feel, but we'll see. That's how you do it. Not like, not the way I did before. <laughs> I panicked a little before. 
yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I wanted to kill him to, to kill him using the cock well not not the cockroach, just carob. A be the beetle. No, no, should I follow it or uh No idea, no I don't think so. And it's not there anymore, and neither is the zinger. Okay, maybe one more stage, and then I'll uh, I'll end the stream for today. Ooh. Oh, no, I was gonna say maybe you have to blast through that thing using Angar, but. Some of these bonus levels, I have a hard time remembering them. It's basically the concept of squawks in the first game that they reused in an underwater level, just because they just because they could, just to show that they could. But it works the exact same way. Finding any bonus levels so far. Hmm. <laughs> Glimmers Galleon. Or oh, tell you what, I'm going to end the stream here. Uh, and I'll be back tomorrow with some more. Okay? So thank you guys for watching. Uh, well, I hope to see you guys again tomorrow night. Then for the next part of, uh, of this DKC2 playthrough. 102% uh, playthrough, hopefully. Well, that's what I'm hoping it will be, anyway. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. See you tomorrow night, and, well, have a good night yourselves. Bye-bye.